close to my face. Oh, hi. <laughs> hey, Kevin. <laughs> Today we are going to make the most delicious grilled chicken sandwich that I've ever had. So I mashed up two of my favorite foods, grilled chicken and Caesar salad, and turned them into one epic grilled chicken sandwich. I have a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. These are classic Caesar-y ingredients. Some Worcestershire sauce, Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Worcestershire oh, I can't say it. Whatever. Two cloves of garlic, finely grated with a microplane. Watch out for your fingies. Two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. And two teaspoons of coarsely ground fresh black pepper. Okay, so I'm whisking that all together till it's homogenous. And then I will stream in one third a cup of olive oil until it's emulsified. Okay, so this is our marinade. I'm gonna transfer half of it into this bowl here. And then Season my chicken thighs. These are just large, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Other hand. And then these will go into that marinade. But we'll let these sit out at room temperature for 30 minutes while we make our sauce and prepare the grill. I'm gonna finish the mayo that we're gonna slather on the buns. It's about a quarter cup of chopped cornichon. You could use dill pickles as well, if you don't happen to have these on hand. Just anything bright and briny here. Six tablespoons of mayonnaise that also get stirred in. And then I'll season this with salt. All right, so that's our Caesary sauce. Simple. <laughs> these are beautiful buns. Shout out to Drew on the buns. Have you ever seen any more beautiful buns than this? This has been marinating for 30 wow. minutes. We're gonna bring this and the beautiful buns over to the grill and grill them. Brad, what is that thing? <laughs> this like spiky thing. Is that a grill brush? Yeah. Well, usually they're a little more brushy. Yeah, well we got options. Oh, okay. Brush them out, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. This grill is, has been preheated over medium. I'm just gonna lightly oil the grates with a little bit of vegetable oil on a paper towel so that the chicken doesn't stick. And this too. Oh. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's like I mean, a personal it's cleaning it. service. Well, I wouldn't get carried away, but. Thank you, Brad. What a lovely day to be in the test kitchen. These guys are going on for about eight minutes. No worries if they flare up a little bit at first. There's oil in the marinade, but it'll settle down about four minutes per side. If you don't have a grill or it's not grilling season and it's cold out when, you're, when you happen to be watching this episode, get a grill pan and preheat it over medium on your stove. You won't get the same depth of flavor, but it'll work just as well. Woo! This looks like an Applebee's commercial. Let's take a peek. Ugh, time to flip. What? Sorry. Why do chicken coops have two doors? So that if one chicken is laying an egg on one side of the coop, the other guy doesn't have to bump him out of the way to get out. No, because if they had four, they'd be a chicken sedan. <laughs> wow. That's the first time you've ever made me laugh. <laughs> okay, these two are pretty much there. These guys are still a little bit under. If you pull them off right when they're cooked, by the time they've rested, they'll be overcooked. So just before they're finished cooking, we'll pull them off. Can we go into the walk-in for a second? I'm just so, I'm so hot. This is where we cool off. Oh, feel that? 60 seconds, cool off time. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? I'm so refreshed. I feel like a new woman. Perfect timing. These are looking even better than when we last left them. And now I'll pull them off and rest them. Onto the buns. These cook really fast, so just beware that they probably only take about 30 seconds. Not trying to char the shite out of them. Oh, perfect. Noise. Perfectly toasted buns. Turn off the grill. 
We're gonna make the slaw now that tops these grilled chicken sandwiches. You could do this by hand, but I prefer to use a mandolin. Just thinly slicing the fennel crosswise and then just taking care as you get down to the bottom of it not to hurt your fingies. I'm also not gonna waste these beautiful little fennel fronds that are poking off the ends here. So I'm gonna reserve them and just chop them up and throw them in the slaw as well. Pretty. And then I have about a cup of basil leaves. Toss this all together. So this is gonna provide a really bright, fresh, herbal, crunchy counterpart to the super charred flavors that we have over here with the perfectly toasted buns and the grilled chicken. This is gonna get lightly dressed in olive oil and a squeeze of lemon juice. A little bit of crushed red pepper flake, optional if you don't like spicy, and I'll season it with salt. Not too much, because there's a lot of salt already going on over in the marinade and also in the sauce. Tomato, if it's out of season, don't use it. It'll just be a waste of space. But it's tomato season, so we're doing it. And now comes assembly. All of the elements of the sandwich are here. We have the Caesary dressing, tomatoes, little gem lettuce just for some crunch. You could also use romaine, a fennel basil slaw, and of course the grilled chicken. I'm gonna put this on both sides of the bread pretty liberally. One or two leaves of lettuce per sando on the bottom. Then we'll go a slice of tomato. One chicken thigh. That's a big dog, someone's lucky. Mmm. And we'll top with some of the fennel slaw. All right. We're in business. Whoop. I'm gonna bite into one of these. Which one should I do? This guy. Yeah. This guy's kind of our hero. All right, everyone else aside, this is maybe the juiciest grilled chicken sandwich known to man, so make sure you have a plate for catching all the juices. It's delicious, you guys. Super juicy, there's a lot of char. The fennel slaw is delightful. It's the best grilled chicken sandwich I've ever had. Don't forget your beautiful buns, Kevin. Beautiful buns.